All right, welcome back to another uh, three-minute trial summary. Um, this trial, chlorthaldone versus hydrochlorothiazide uh, for hypertension cardiovascular events. I'm Mike Fralick, general internist and uh, clinician scientist. Uh, this study really caught my eye because there's a lot of speculation that chlorthaladone is better than hydrochlorothiazide, but not based on great data. So here's a randomized trial to answer that question. So methods, we'll use the PICO framework uh, population, adults over 65 with high blood pressure, intervention, uh, hydrochlorothiazide uh, compared to chlorthalidone. Uh, the outcome was a messy one. It was a composite of a heart attack, stroke, heart failure hospitalization, um, urgent revascularization for unstable angina or non-cancer death, and timeline uh, almost two and a half years. Some more aspects, uh, was it placebo controlled? Nope. How is it funded by the Veteran Affairs? Was the outcome clinically relevant? I'd sure say so. Was it blinded? Nope. Uh, intention to treat analysis? Yes, that's important. And were there a lot of centers, right? Was this multi-center? Absolutely. So let's dig into the results. Um, they approached 16,000 patients for inclusion in the study, uh, randomized uh, almost 14,000, and loss to follow-up was rare. Uh, what did the patients look like? Um, average age was 72 years, 96% uh, were men because this was part of the veteran affairs, uh, diabetes among 45%, heart failure 8%, and 94% were receiving hydrochlorothiazide at baseline. So how about the primary outcome? Well, you can see here, um, no difference between the two groups over time, all right? So, so much for that thought that chlorothaladone was way better than hydrochlorothiazide. Um, some important secondary outcomes, so adverse events were much more common with chlorthalidone, and in particular, um, hypokalemia, low potassium, was more common with chlorthalidone. They also looked at the blood pressure between the two groups, so which achieved a better blood pressure over time, and believe it or not, it was almost the same between the two arms. A few limitations of this study, so certainly external generalizability. Um, this was done within the Veteran Affairs, um, hence why there were so many men and so few women. And also, it was an unblinded trial. I don't think this is a sort of you know fundamental flaw here, um, but it is important in any unblinded trial. If there was a difference, you'd worry maybe that's from bias. But in this setting, it's unblinded, um, but also there was no difference between the two arms. Uh, so take home point here, uh, it appears that chlorothaladone does not improve a person's risk of major cardiovascular events, and if anything, might be associated with an increased risk of adverse events. Uh, thanks so much. I hope you found this helpful. If so, uh, send a like and, uh, and share the video. Thanks so much.